Hi, welcome to Edge Yoga's Mind Body Academy Wellness Summit. I'm Nico Anna Burkhart, and I'm super excited to be here today talking to you. Uh, we're going to be talking about the common blocks that most of us have to cultivating health and wellness. So I'm sure some of you um, have been through some times in your life where you were trying to implement some things that you knew were going to help you feel better, feel healthy, um, to cultivate your well-being, whether that be physical, emotional, or mental, which are all connected, obviously, mind-body, right? <laughs> and so, you know, you probably have experienced sometimes when you had some resistance or you weren't able to continue to create the habits you know you needed to have. Um, you maybe got some inconsistent results and you wonder why. You get frustrated with yourself and, you know, you just maybe you give up. Or you beat yourself up, you feel bad. Um, so these these are really common things that happen to us. And, but there is actually common reasons why why we're not able to overcome our old patterns and habits that are in place that keep us from our overall well being. So let's just talk about that really quickly. Um, one of the main things that can happen to us is as human beings in general is that we tend to be in a state of overwhelm all the time in our modern society um, the things that you know we encounter throughout the day our habits um, so many things that are in place in our lives do tend to put us into overwhelm and stress all the time so when you're in a state of overwhelm it is very difficult to think clearly and it's difficult to implement new things in your life because, because when you're in overwhelm, it really kicks your survival instincts into, into play. Like your primal brain is really activated. And when you're in a survival mode, that is not the time when you are going to be receptive to creating new habits. Because in survival, uh, literally your brain is only really worried about your fight or flight response, even if that translates into something not just literally fighting or fleeing, but doing things that just keep you safe. So old patterns, old habits, old ways of being are keeping you like emotionally, mentally safe, right? So if you're in a survival mode, you've heard people say this, they're like, oh, I don't have, I'm too stressed to think about that right now, right? Have you ever heard that like, you know, uh, I, I just, I can't deal with it. I can't deal with anything right now. I'm so stressed out. You know, I can't deal with anything. That That's that whole energy of just not being able to make changes that you know are going to benefit you. So with that being um, said, you guys, it's really important that you first address overwhelm before you try and implement something new. So maybe we'll just use um, the example of trying to create new eating habits, okay? So you might have some eating habits that you want to change. Maybe you want to change the actual foods you eat or possibly change the amount of food you eat or you want to change anything about the way you eat, right? You just do this subconsciously. Your, your habits are there. You don't have to think about it, right? You just, you're on autopilot with what you're eating, when you're eating, and how you're eating. So it takes a lot of conscious effort to, you have to consciously focus on creating something new. You have to build new neural pathways to create new habits so that eating this new way is easy and, or eating less or eating more or whatever it is, is easy for you and it's just part of your day and you have to think about it. But there's going to be a, a period of time when you are literally having to build new neural pathways you're having to pay more attention. You have to focus more of your conscious, conscious attention in order for this to happen easier later on. And that's true for anything. So what you want to do is you want to really understand that there is going to be this period of time. If you don't clear out the overwhelm, what's going to happen is you won't be able to focus at all. And then you won't be able to create any new neural pathways. <laughs> You'll just be in the old neural pathways. And we'll also what might happen is you might create pathways of failure, feelings of failure around creating something new, which is going to cause you to feel guilt and shame, which is then maybe going to cause you to not try it again. So 
makes it even worse. So here's what we're going to do. Um, you guys, I'm going to do a technique with you called EFT tapping. EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. And if you haven't heard of EFT before, well, you're about to. It's very exciting. EFT is a, a technique or a tool that is basically, uh, people call it emotional acupuncture or energy psychology, and it's really a combination of both. It's a really simple technique you can use to help you unblock all kinds of patterns. It can help reset your nervous system. Um, one of the main ways it's used uh, just in general, in the general public, is to help relieve anxiety and stress. It's to help people get over PTSD symptoms um, to release you know, habits and addictions and things like that. So it's very popular for things like that. But it can work for any specific thing you want it to. And the reason why it works is because if you use it over time, it will help repattern your neurology. You can use it as a tool to repattern your neurology and change your brain. <laughs> if you don't change your brain, you're not going to be able to change anything in your life because everything that you do, every behavior you have is literally set in your neural pathways. So, all right. So with that being said, what we're going to do is we're going to do a little tapping and you guys are going to join me and we're going to do general tapping for general overwhelm. So this is how it works. We're going to be tapping on some different points on the body. When I say tapping, I literally mean like tapping. We're going to use these two fingers and we're going to tap. The first point is actually right here on the edge of the eyebrow, just gently. Okay, so we're going to poke yourself in the eye out, but you're going to gently tap right here and you're going to follow along with me and you're going to actually repeat what I'm saying. So I'm going to be making some statements while we're tapping and you're just going to repeat them with me. So let's go through the points first before we actually tap. So the first point is going to be here on the side of the hand, which is called, um, some people might, might call this the karate chop point, where you like karate chop your hand, it would be right here, or the side of the hand. So this point is where we do what's called the setup statement, and I'm going to go over that in a second. Then the, the first point in the, the tapping pr uh, process is right here on the edge of the eyebrow. So I'm gonna lift my finger up too so you can see I'm really holding my po the point here and it's kind of harder to see on the video. And if you're wearing glasses that are gonna get in the way, you might wanna move them. The second point is right here and I am gonna take my glasses off for this. You can see on the edge of the bone here on the eye, okay, right here. And then on the bottom, this is the third point, again, not too close to the eye but down here on the bone. Okay, and then the next point is here between the nose and the mouth, so in this crease here. And then on the chin, again in the crease here. Okay, then the next point is on under the collarbone, and you can actually do a bilateral point here. Um, you find your collarbones, and then you go about two inches below from the center of your collarbones. You can tap on one side, you can the side that you're on. Some people will tap both sides. You may see me doing that. And then um, the next point, I'm sorry guys, you might just see a little better here, is under the arm, it's about where a woman's bra line would be. It's, it's about two inches below, maybe three inches below the armpit, okay? And then going to the top of the head, just on the top of the head, all right? So those are the points. So again, you're just gonna follow along with me, you're gonna say what I say, and you're gonna tap and then whatever issues are coming up for you, just know that in general, this is, this is called um, borrow benefits. Even if the things that I'm saying don't specifically apply to your issue, saying them and tapping on them is going to actually release what's going on with you because your body, your intelligent body understands what you need to release and that's how it works. Okay? So one thing I want to say before we tap is that just make sure you understand that EFT is not meant to replace medical treatment and it's not meant to be a diagnosis and so if you if you have a medical issue then you definitely want to consult with your doctor and you don't want to stop taking medications or anything like that you don't want to use EFT to replace anything it's just a something to do supplementally so by tapping with me take responsibility for your own health and well-being right okay okay so go ahead and get somewhere where you're relaxed and you're not going to be disturbed it's quiet that's you're just going to be able to sit and relax for a few minutes. Take a deep breath with me. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. 
And then what I want to ask you to do is think about your overall stress level, just in general. Um, and you can think about something specific if you want, or you can just think in general. But thinking about your general stress level right now, I want you to get a number in your mind between 0 and 10. So 0 to 10, 10 being I'm just maxed out, I couldn't be any more stressed. And 0 is that I feel no stress at all, which you probably wouldn't be on this, that you wouldn't be on this webinar if you weren't. Um, and then get that number, and don't overthink it, just, just meditate on it for a moment, get the number, set the number aside. Okay, then we're going to start tapping. So go ahead and tap right here on the karate chop point and repeat after me. Even though I feel completely overwhelmed, I deeply and completely love and accept myself right now. Even though I'm feeling really overwhelmed and stressed, I'm willing to accept this is how I feel right now. Even though I'm feeling really overwhelmed and really stressed, I'm willing to consider that this could change. Okay, we're gonna go to the eyebrow now. Oh, I feel so overwhelmed. I feel so overwhelmed, so many things to do in life. I have a to-do list a mile long. I feel really stressed about this. I don't know what to do. I can't even think straight sometimes. I get so tired. I feel so fatigued. I know I need to take better care of myself. I know there's things that I could do for myself that would be really helpful. I know what these things are, yet I don't do them. And then I feel bad about that. I feel really guilty. Then I'm beating myself up. And then I get even more overwhelmed. And then I tell myself, I really need to do these things. Why don't I do this? And then I feel even worse. God, I'm so overwhelmed, I don't know what to do. Oh, just forget it, I might as well give up. <laughs> it's no use, what's the use here? I'm never going to be able to do this stuff. I'm never going to be able to get well and healthy. I'm never going to be able to change my old habits. It's too hard. I feel so overwhelmed. I wonder what it would feel like, though, if I just did one small thing. What if I didn't have to think about everything at once? Hmm. What if I could just choose one little thing I could do today and then not worry about the rest? I wonder how that would make me feel. Hmm. What would the one small thing I could do for myself today be that would make me feel better? I wonder what that would feel like. Maybe I could give myself permission to just take one small step towards my health and well-being. I don't have to get it all done today. I don't have to know all the answers right now. I could just do one little thing, let it go and move on. And maybe I could stop punishing myself. Maybe I could start loving myself no matter what. Oh, I wonder what that would feel like. I'm willing to consider it. And I deeply and completely accept myself right now the way I am. Stop tapping. Take a deep breath. Okay, now hopefully that number that you rated at the beginning of the tapping has gone down. We're wanting that number to go down. And what can happen sometimes is throughout the tapping, you may have some thoughts or feelings that come up, or maybe you have a realization about something, or something may shift. So hopefully you're feeling different now than when you first started tapping. You see, what this is doing is it's shifting your nervous system. So probably while you were tapping and you were releasing these feelings you've been bottled up inside, 
your nervous system is responding by relaxing because you're releasing this tension you've been holding on to. So this is a really easy way to just release that surface tension and then start being able to implement those small things. So I do invite you guys to think about, like I said, this is one of the biggest blocks is to be overwhelmed. Don't try to get it all done today, but just think about that one small thing you can do and then just go on about your day and don't think about it. Don't think, oh God, I did this one thing. Then I have this all, no. Just do the one thing and then say, yay, I did it. And then, you know, feel the success of that, right? Congratulate yourself. I did the one thing. Didn't do it yesterday, but I did it today. And then move on with your day and then the next day deal with it then. And I promise you, if you do that a little bit every day, you're going to make these little small successes that are going to equal eventually to some kind of change that you're going to be able to see, a sustainable change. So, great. I hope that guy, that helped you guys. And um, I, I'm happy, happy to give you more information. If you guys want to reach out to me, there's a, a link here that you can, you can click on and you can join um, some free training that I'm going to be giving. Um, I have a group coaching program coming up called the Buddha Brain Breakthrough, changing your brain, building your Buddha brain. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can definitely join my free training, some free group coaching. I'd love to see you there. And just reach out to me via email, join my Facebook group, um, contact me, message me, hit me up, and I'd be happy to talk with you if you want to know more about tapping and about the techniques that I use to help people. So thanks again. So happy to see you here, and I'm going to get going now, but I hope that you enjoy the rest of the speakers and you get something out of this summit. Namaste.